Hello YouTube, we got a uh, 2014 Subaru XV Crosstrek uh, with a little dent in the rear deck lid. Uh, you can see that in my board there. Let's try to give it a nice roundy look through it. The dent is just right there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do this one on camera. This is at a body shop. Obviously it has a little bit of damage on the side there that they're gonna fix, but they didn't wanna have to paint this deck lid, so we're gonna make it come out real nice. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just grab my, make sure you don't hit those buttons. Grab my orange right here and try to get it on the, uh, on the corner of the border, at least like right on that orange so you can see where we're at. And I'm basically gonna just roll in here and then uh, make some slight pushes. Uh, I'm actually just starting down here. This dent is so messy. It's not even it's not an even round So I'm just gonna start at the bottom and kind of work my way up and clean it up as we go up uh, Real slow real light pushes uh, The pushes the amount of pressure that I'm putting on this tool It's actually going in at this angle and I'm giving it about a pound and a half of pressure literally that much just letting the, the handle of the tool fall giving it a slight little twist to keep it in place and just bouncing my hand off of it. Um, people think that, you know, you push the dents out and it's really not like that. It's it's more testing the, the tension of the metal with slight little bounces. And then once you know that you can actually move it a little bit, you move it a little bit. And when you know that you can't move it, you gotta go around and find the uh, the tension and work that tension out. A lot of the times that comes from tapping down ridge, tapping down a high spot that maybe got stuck. Now this dent is gonna come out real nice right here. I don't know if you can see this edge, mm -mm. but if you go up a little bit higher, you'll see that the edge has a little tug right where the metal was folded over against that edge. And there is literally not much we can do with that. I was about to say nothing we can do with that, but I can tap it down a tiny bit. Um, it is one of those things that it is what it is. It's a folded over piece of metal that those uh, fold edges, when you had a dent made next to it, um, tend, to, tend to be very, very difficult, if not impossible, to get rid of. Sorry about the background noise. We are at a body shop. And uh, if you see where I'm at now, I'm just kind of getting more and more of this bottom edge out and hopefully we'll be able to just do this one front to back with no brakes and now I'm up on the top edge here and I'm kind of got this little triangle where the uh, where the line gets high rolls around this edge of the dent and rolls around the top edge of the dent we call that an eyebrow it's got the eyebrow and there's the eye of the dent right there so I don't necessarily want to go right into that eye of the dent. I want to come around the outside of this eyebrow, bring it up. There's nothing on the back side of that eyebrow and then come onto the front side of this big eyebrow and kind of bring that up a little bit. And then I'm also going to do the, the tapping. When you switch from tapping to pushing and pushing to tapping is all the point of preference. But I've always been under the impression that the second you see something that's too high, you want to tap it down. Because your job is to spend the time getting the lows out, and that's doing the dent. You can't get the lows out until the highs are down. So I do see that I have this line. I'm kind of being uh, impatient by not taking this line out. I'm gonna go grab my tapper. Uh, right behind you. Hammer tapper, and we're gonna take out this line, just nice and easy. Um, find the high spot. There's a high brow there, high brow there, and high brow in here. So, if I give it a couple nice little, I mean, I'm basically just dropping the hammer, not, not hitting it hard. I'm finding those high ridges. And I never tap in the same spot a bunch of times. It's more like moving an area of metal all at once. So you can see that I'm almost moving it as I'm tapping. Like as this thing is dropping, I'm still 
shoving this thing around and moving my tapper around. And you can hear that kind of weird sound as opposed to up here where it's a normal sound, but this kind of sounds like it's the backside of a metal drum. Well, that's where all that tension is right there. And once that sound kind of stops sounding funky, we'll know it's flat. Here it is, it's kind of flattening out. You can hear the sound change. And then I keep on trying to find that weird sound. There's the last bit of it. And then once that sound changes, yes, it's a, it's a slow process. And sorry that I am talking while I'm tapping. Um, I know it makes it extremely hard to hear what I'm saying when I'm tapping, but I kind of feel like you seeing me do what I'm doing is more important than you hearing me talk. Because I never stop talking. But now we're going to really kind of forcefully, you can see I'm kind of forcefully throwing this hammer down on this top edge, moving it around a lot, finding where it's tight, and then that sound is going to go away any second. It's going to be a normal kind of, wow, it's, it's real tight right there. A lot of that out. Let's go for this center right here. Of a, a ridge through the middle of the dent, and I am kind of holding the hammer funny so that you have a better view. Not the normal way I'd hold the hammer, normally, I'd hold it like this. So, the reason why this one's a little bit longer of a video is because we're going to end up doing the whole thing on camera. And uh, if you guys like what you see or you're learning anything, you know, feel free to hit that like button. It helps me out. Uh, if you want to see more content, you can always subscribe. I'm going to get in here now. Um, and if you want to show them how far I am standing back, you can see how far I am standing back. I'm using, like, almost the whole tool, and I'm way back on it so I can see a fine fine angle and I can just basically slowly move my tool in I'm right here on the bottom edge and I'm gonna bring that bottom edge up I'm gonna go up a little bit higher there's a something back there I don't know what it is I'm gonna come up to this front edge and I actually lift the board up a little bit higher so I can see it and let's find this front edge there it is right through the middle and I think what we are gonna do oh did you see that little slippery slide of a mistake try to get that little line right there that I just made you guys got to see me actually make a little uh, mistake on camera which I always like to show the reels uh, it's part of the job you know if your tool slips and you make a little line or a high spot you gotta fix that shit right instantly. So what I do right there is I'll find that high line that I just kind of slipped my tool a little bit. It didn't it didn't go bad. I'll just bring it down a little teeny bit, maybe four or five hits. About that. I'll just fill in the rest now. Um if you see what we're accessing through is we're using the actual handle down here hole. And we've got this braced open, so it's just nice and easy access for me to get all the way up in here and uh, make the pushes that need to be made. Let's see if we can finish off this dent now. Now this one is going to be... Um, what I would call 100%. This one's gonna be done 
to as good as possible. You guys can see right now that I've got, if you want to stand back a little bit right here, you can see that I've got a little bit of those waves left. Um, how does it show? Did it show all right? Let me see here. Yeah, I got a little bit of those waves left. And what, oh, just a little bit, right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sit here and, uh, gosh, it's tough to do like that through the camera. But I'm gonna basically sit here and work those two little valleys out. And it might take me another 10 or 15, maybe even 20 minutes to get those done. Um, but basically, we'll come back and show you the very end result in about 15 minutes here and it'll be about a second for you thank you guys for sticking with me through these 10 minutes and i'll see you in a minute and we're back we get the end result with that one uh let's give you a couple of different angles if you look down you'll see that there is a slight little wave right about there i don't know did you see it yeah it's kind of right there it's like it's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack to see that. Maybe a little bit different of an angle. Uh, and like I said, there's this, if I can hold this open with my knee, there is this uh, edge up here that just is not gonna come out. That's just part of the deal. Uh, you can see how that edge tightens up around there. That's just uh, part of the physics of the way that they folded over this metal when they when they made that to get that line out is very very difficult like I say and the dent came out looking pretty nice let's close this down take a look at it with it closed basically the difference between a dent and no dent if you guys like what you see make sure you hit that like button and if you want to see more hit that subscribe button it always helps me out PDR signing out peace